हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑन सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस ऑटोमेटेड टेस्टिंग एंड टेस्टिंग टूल कॉन्सेप्ट्स सो एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब ऑटोमेशन टेस्टिंग एंड प्रोसेसर्स बेनिफिट्स एंड टूल्स सो लेट अस डिस्कस व्हाट इज ऑटोमेशन टेस्टिंग automation testing that means using an automation tool to execute your test case suite on the contrary manual testing is performed by a human sitting in front of a computer carefully executing the test steps the automation software can also enter the test data into the system under the test compare the expected and actual results and generate the detailed test reports test automation demands considerable investments of money and resources successive development cycles will require execution of same test suite repeatedly so using a test automation tool it is possible to record this test suite and replay it as required once the test suite is automated no human intervention is required so this improved the return of interest the return of interest of test automation and the goal of automation is to reduce the number of test cases to be run manually and not to eliminate manual testing altogether why this automated testing is required automated software testing is important due to the following reasons manual testing of all workflows all fields all negative scenarios that is a time and money consuming and it is it is difficult to test for a multilingual sites manually that is a a multilingual uh, wordpress websites that serves the the same content in multiple languages it can automatically redirect the users to a language based on their reason or the user can select their preferred language using a drop down link so automation that does not require human interventions and you can run automated tests unattended so automated automation that increases the speed of test execution and automation also helps to increase the test coverage we can cover more number of test cases manual testing can become boring and hence it is error prone so let us discuss uh, which test cases to automate the test cases to be automated that can be selected using the following criteria to increase the automation return of interest high risk the businesses that critical test cases test cases that are repeatedly executed we need to consider the test cases that are repeatedly executed and test cases that are very tedious or difficult to perform manually and test cases which are time consuming so we need to consider all these conditions for to to select the automation in the software testing the following criteria of test cases are not suitable for the automation the test cases that are newly designed and are not executed manually at least once and the test cases for which the requirements are frequently changing so in such cases also we should not go for the automation and test cases which are executed on an ad hoc basis uh, on an ad hoc basis let us consider the uh, automated uh, testing process the following are the steps are carried out in an automation process uh, test tool selection defining the the scope of automation planning designing and development test execution and maintenance so these are the the automation testing process the let us discuss the first one that is a test uh, tool selection so test tool selection that largely depend on the technology the application under test is built on so for instance the qtp that uh, does not support uh, informatica 
so qtp cannot be used for testing the informatica applications okay so it's it's a good idea to conduct a proof of concept of a tool on the application under the testing next define the scope of automation the scope of automation is the area of your application under the test which will be automated following points that helps to determine the scope the features that are important for the business scenarios which have the large amount of data and uh, common functionalities that are across the functions and we need to consider the technical feasibility and the extent to which the business components are reused the complexity of the test cases and ability to use the same test cases for the cross browser testing so we need to define the scope of the automation next uh, discuss about uh, the planning design and development during this phase after defining the scope during this phase you create an automation strategy and plan which contain the following details the automation tools that are selected the framework design and features in scope and out scope items of the automation and automation test bed preparations schedule and timeline of the scripting and executions and the deliverable of automation testing so these are all the the kind of points that we consider in the planning and design development of the testing phase text execution the automation scripts are executed during this phase the scripts need input test data before there are a set to run once executed they provide a detailed test reports execution can be performed using the automation tool directly or through the test management tool so which will invoke the automation tool for example quality center is the test management tool which in turn will invoke qtp for execution of automation scripts scripts can be executed in a single machine or group of machines the execution can be done during the the night to save the time maintenance as new functionalities are added to the system under the test with successive cycles automation scripts need to be added reviewed and maintained for each release cycle maintenance becomes necessary to improve the effectiveness of automation scripts okay the next is the framework for the automation a framework is a set of automation guidelines which help in maintaining the consistency of the testing how we continuously maintain the consistency in the testing of the application then improve the test structuring minimum usage of the code less maintenance of the code and it improves the reusability non technical testers can be involved in the code so we need to write a framework the guidelines for the automation and the training period of using the tool can be reduced involves the data wherever the appropriate the framework of for the test automation there are four types of frameworks that used in the automation software testing that is data driven automation framework keyword driven automation framework modular automation framework hybrid automation framework so these are the the four important the frameworks for the automation of the software testing a testing framework is a set of guidelines or the rules used for creating and designing the test cases and a framework that is comprised of a combination of practices and tools that are designed to help the quality assurance professionals to test more efficiently what are the frameworks that used in the selenium the frameworks such as the cucumber and test ng or that is text test ng are used for testing on the connection of web drivers client and the browser driver so this test can also be conducted on the multiple drivers with the help of a selenium grid let us pause the video for a while and answer the question list the different 
automated testing process in a software testing life cycle the answer is the test tool selection once the test tool is selected define the scope of automation then planning design and development test execution maintenance so these are the 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 different automation testing process in software testing let us discuss the benefits of automated testing so these are the following uh, benefits of automated testing the 70 percent of uh, it is faster than the manual testing and wider the test coverage of application features reliable in results compared to the manual testing ensure the consistency save the time and cost it improves the accuracy and human intervention is not required while execution it also increases the efficiency the compared to the manual testing better speed in executing the tests reusable test scripts that save the time test frequently and thoroughly more cycles cycle of execution can be achieved through the automation and the main important thing is early time to market means for with automation testing the the early market the delivery of the product in the market is faster compared to the manual testing process so automation testing tools there are there are tons of functional and regression testing tools that are available in the market and here are the some of the best tools that is uh, certified by our experts so the first is uh, the selenium very popular open source testing tool that is used for regression testing and it is an open source testing tool that provides playback and recording facility for regression testing the selenium id only supports the mozilla firefox web browser it also provides the provision to export the record recorded scripts in other languages like java ruby python it can be used with the frameworks like uh, junit and test ng it can execute multiple tests at a time and auto complete for the selenium commands that are common and walk through the different tests the next is the qtp it is widely used for the functional and regression testing it addresses every major software application and environment to simplify the test creation and maintenance it uses a concept of keyword driven testing and it allows the tester to build test cases directly from the application it is easier to use for non technical person to adapt to and create the working test cases it fix the defects faster thoroughly documenting and replicating the defects for the developer the right selection of automation tools the testing process and the team are important players for the automation to be successful manual and automation testing methods that go hand in hand for the successful testing so these are the references that i referred thank you